Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Mega Crasher is here, and I present you guys with yet another fun video involving Pokemon Stars. Now, in the last video, I did a top 5 list of the kind of Pokemon that I want to see in Pokemon Stars, but after doing some more looking around, I'm like, oh my god, I found more designs that I have just fell for in a heartbeat, man, and I'm just like, you want to know something? These are designs, these are the ideas that I want to share with you guys, so I decided, you know what, let's make this another top 5 Pokemon that I want to see in Pokemon Stars! This is going to be part two, baby. So with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, set your phasers to stun, get hyped, stay hyped. Let's do this. Oh, and by the way, if you enjoy videos like these, then make sure you smash the hell of the like button and subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know as to when you see this crazy not house upload, then all you got to do, baby, is ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Hit that notification bell like a bronzong, baby. Let's aim for 25 likes for this video because you guys crushed the last like video or the last like goal in the video I should say man holy shit I'm getting so tongue tied must be the coffee but anyways ladies and gentlemen get ready get set and let's do it Woo! all right ladies and gentlemen so kicking off the list at number five we have a very very hyped idea I would love to see in Pokemon stars and that is a steel type evolution for Eevee. Okay, check me out on this. We have a fire type, electric type, water type for generation one, okay? We got a psychic and dark type for generation two, grass and ice type for generation four, and we also have a fairy type for generation six. Are you beginning to see a bit of a pattern here? For each generation that we have new Eevee evolutions introduced to one another, you would have an Eevee evolution that would counter the other one type-wise. And the thing is, is that since there was only one evolution introduced in 6th generation, why do we have an evolution introduced in this generation that counters the 6th generation evolution being Sylveon, a fairy type, by making this a steel type evolution? That's right, baby. We need to have a steel type evolution, man. And I just gotta say that this design that they got going on right here for a steel type evolution is absolutely phenomenal. I would lose my shit if Game Freak did something like this in the future for a steel type evolution such as like what you're seeing right here. And how would you achieve this evolution, you guys might ask? Well, how about this? You take a cute little Eevee, you train it up, you level it up, and how about this? You level it up while holding a metal coat, and it evolves, baby! And having access to likes of Flash Cannon, Iron Head, Iron Tail, Smart Strike, Autonomize, this Pokemon would be a Steel-type Terror, man. Now, as for stats, I'm thinking that this thing needs to have a very high attack stat. Base 130, no questions asked. Next, I'm thinking that it should probably have a high speed stat of base 110. And then maybe have 95 on the HP and have everything else, like maybe it's defense and special defense, have it both at 65 and the special attack at 60. That's right. This thing needs to be an all-out physical attacker, man, because the last evolution that was introduced to us was an all-out special attacker, so why do we keep the balance, baby, and make this a physical attacker? But that's just my opinion. You let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to move on. Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't believe I fucked up this early in the video. Okay, here's the thing. We gotta think of an ability for this crazy Steel-type evolution. How about Battle Armor since it has that helmet-looking thing on the front of its face? That's right, we're gonna go with Battle Armor so that way it can't have critical hits scored against it, man! Woo! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so coming up next on the list is a Pokemon design that I absolutely fell for in a heartbeat. And that's this Pokemon that bears the resemblance of a bear trap. Now, the thing of it is, is despite its appearance, it's actually not meant for trapping Pokemon. Oh, hell to the no, because I come up with a backstory on this. This is a Pokemon that actually defends the territories of Pokemon that are at risk of poachers. So, this actually traps the poachers rather than the Pokemon. I mean, how is that for a crazy concept? You know what I'm saying? So, it kind of says, you know what? Hey, not all trappers are a bad thing, such as this Pokemon right here. Now, with all that being said, let's think of a typing. Obviously, a steel typing would go great with this thing. And how about a dark typing to go with it, considering that it has such a 
deep bearing hatred for poachers so it has some really dark and nasty thoughts it's like you know what i want to trap them sons of bitches that they try and invade our territory so with all that being said it's now time to think of an ability now i can't think of a name of ability off the top of my head but how about a kind of an ability that should this pokemon be hit with a physical attack th it has the jaws of life or not the jaws of life more like the jaws of death looking at that thing but how about its jaws activate and it actually takes away one-sixth health of the opponents every single time they make contact. So essentially, a buffed up version of Rough Skin or Iron Barbs. Now, that right there, you pair that with Rocky Helmet, ho ho ho, shit man! That thing is going to be pretty damn difficult to wear down from a physical standpoint. You can't touch this thing without suffering some major backlash in terms of damage, man. So now, we take a look at the stats. I'm thinking that this Pokemon should have a high, high physical defense with a moderately high HP, really respectable special defense, and next to no speed. Like, I'm talking Pukumuku speed, because you can tell that this Pokemon isn't really exactly meant to move. It's not exactly a mobile looking Pokemon. So, we'll give it the lowest speed stat possible, being 5, and have its defense stat being, like, I don't know, at least 150. Have its special defense be like 110, 120. Its HP stat being 90. And how about a really high attack stat of, say, base 130? You know what I'm saying? This Pokemon ain't meant to be messed with, man! You better not piss it off. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to move on to number three. Whew. With the way that this video is going, it seems like that I have a love for Steel Test, but I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is going to be a really, really solid Steel type Pokemon that you are going to want to get behind, because check me out on this. This is a Pokemon that has since gained Steel type characteristics by eating lots and lots of iron and other scrap metals. Because this thing was originally meant to be a poison type, but given the fact that it has a sudden addiction to the likes of iron and metal, it gains steel type characteristics. So, for the first time ever in the history of Pokemon, we're going to have a poison steel type, man. This right here is a bucket of sludge and rust and just, it's just overall crazy. I absolutely love it, so let's go ahead and let's keep going with this. Now, as for an ability, I'm thinking that we should actually have an ability that actually makes it immune to Steel-type moves. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You got your Flash Fires, you got your Water Absorbs, you got your Volt Absorbs. Well, we're going to have ourselves another Absorption-like ability. Whereas, whenever you get hit by a Steel-type move, you gain 25% of your maximum health back in battle, which is ridiculously awesome. And I've just got to say that th that isn't the only ability that I have in mind for this thing. You can also give this thing a regenerator, seeing how it has a very sludge-like appearance that could easily regenerate from the use of eating iron and regaining its health and storage and all that stuff back. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the stats, and I'm thinking that this Pokemon needs to have a skyrocketed high special attack. That's right. I want this thing to have a minimum of base 170 for a special attack. Make this thing incredibly slow, like maybe have base 50 speed and have a really high special defense and moderately high defense and HP with its attack stat kind of being eh, not that good. Now, I'm thinking that for this Pokemon right here, when it comes to moves, it should have steel and poison type moves, obviously for stab. But also, it should have moves like Recover. It should have moves like Calm Mind. It should have moves like Fire Blast, as well as the likes of Surf, since how this Pokemon can also be inhabited in waters as well. So, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to move on to number two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of water types, we have this next Pokemon being an aquatic Pokemon. And I just gotta say that as soon as I came across this, I'm like, okay, okay, we need to have this, and we need to have it now, man. We need to have this thing, because this right here would blow Bruxish right the hell out of the water, because Bruxish isn't exactly, you know, the most, um, most attractive Pokemon, as some people would say. I mean, it's kind of scary, if you ask me, man. Those big gnashing teeth, man. Whoa! You want to stay away from that shit. But this Pokemon right here is a very, very solid addition, in my opinion, to add into Pokemon Stars, given the fact that the Aloha region is surrounded by water! I mean, my god, it's gotta be one of those water-filled regions I've ever seen, man! So, it would definitely be solid if they added yet another water-type Pokemon into this generation, and with 
this Pokemon and its design right here, I'm thinking that this should actually remain as a pure water type. That's right, I mean, I honestly can't really think of any other types that would go along good with it. Maybe Psychic, maybe Fairy, but I just want to stick with a pure, clean water type, and you can't go wrong with that. Now, as for an ability, I'm thinking Speed Boost, okay? Because this Pokemon looks like a very, very, very fast swimmer. Or hell, maybe even give it Swift Swim so it's not completely broken because of Speed Boost. Now, for those of you guys that don't know what Swift Swim does, it basically doubles your speed while you're under the effects of rain. Now, as for stats, this Pokemon's most prominent speed stat is going to be its speed. Its speed is going to be a minimum of base 150. And this Pokemon is going to have a very, very solid base 120 attack stat with a high special defense. And it's going to have moderately respectable HP and a moderately respectable defense with low special attack. And we're also having access to the likes of Aqua Jet, Waterfall, uh, as well as Bulk Up, surprisingly. Yeah, this Pokemon's going to get Bulk Up. I mean, it kind of doesn't look like it has any muscles, but I mean, hey, like it's a very fast swimmer. So obviously you got to have muscles somehow in order to be a fast swimmer, you know what I'm saying? So that's why Bulk Up makes perfect sense in this situation. And it's also going to have lots more moves at its disposal, too. So with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to move on to number one. Brace yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit, man. That's actually really damn scary. Oh, my God. That's a stuff of nightmares, man. Allow me to introduce you to the number one spot here on the list. We have this Pokemon, and I just gotta say, when I came across this design, after about 10 minutes of me quivering in fear, I'm like, you wanna know something? I wanna add this to the list because of that kind of reaction that I got from this Pokemon's appearance. Now, this Pokemon is actually going to be an added legendary on the seventh generation. That's right. This Pokemon is actually known for being banished by the Tapus, the Island Guardians, and the Krozma because of its mischief that it committed in the Aloha region, feasting on the innocent, and it's actually been the stuff of nightmare. So you can see it's kind of like the combination of Darkrai and Giratina, yeah! And you want to know something else, man, is that this Pokemon does not play games. Its typing, first of all, is going to be that of Dark... And poison. So this Pokemon right here only has one weakness and right off the bat, man, that makes this Pokemon incredibly difficult to deal with. And if you thought that its ground type weakness was something, well how about I slap on the Levitate as an ability, which means that this Pokemon essentially has no weaknesses, man! That's right! I mean this Pokemon could be seen floating and flying around the skies of Alola, terrorizing those that don't expect it, man. Now, as for stats, oh, buddy, these, these stats are absolutely scary, okay? I mean, they rival that of the likes of Solgaleo and Lunala, except these base stats are going to be that of 700 in total. A base stat total of 700. So, it's going to have really, really, really high special defense, like really high. And it's also going to have a moderately high speed stat, as well as a gigantic HP stat. And it's going to have average defense, special attack, and attack. Now, this Pokemon is just going to be absolutely nightmarish to face in battle, man. No, no, don't, don't, don't look at me like that. I'm giving you praise, man. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. I'm sure we can work this out. No, no, no. Is it gone? Oh, oh my god. That was the scariest thing I'd ever seen, man. I thought it was gonna kill me. You see why that shit got banished in the first place? Oh my god, I can't believe I even thought about unleashing it onto the Aloha region. But as far as I'm concerned, I think I might have done just exactly that by even mentioning this Pokemon. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is going to conclude this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and had fun like I did making it. And if you did, then make sure you fire up a like. It's like I said at the beginning of the program. Let's say for 25 likes. I mean, it's like I said also. You guys fucking annihilated the last like goal in this sort of video. So let's bump it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And if you want more content like this, make sure you rate, comment, share, share, share this video, and subscribe today to Mega Crash and the community for the best. And I mean without a shadow of a doubt. 
the best Pokemon Sun Moon hype they can find right now, right here on YouTube. And just overall the best hype and entertainment, filled with fire, filled with passion, filled with ice, filled with electricity, and everything nice when it comes to Pokemon types. Coming from yours truly, known as Mega Crasher. Because you guys don't know the deal by now, my friends, right? You already know the deal, man. I feel my coffee start to come out, man. Please don't make me puke while I'm trying to do my outro. <laughs> Anyways, if you want more content like this, like I said, all that good stuff, you know, rate, comment, share, channel, share, share, subscribe today. Because you guys don't know the deal by now, my friends. When we're coming to type back on this one, you know that we shine brighter than the sun and the moon combined. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next upload.